Welcome back to another video of Tony's Phone Collection. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of this Motorola phone I picked up on eBay. Uh, it was $19.99. I won the bid and 15 shipping, so it's 35 bucks. I actually didn't realize the shipping price until it was too late. Um, I didn't realize it was 15 bucks, so uh, I ended up paying 35 bucks, which is more than I usually spend on a phone. But it is an all stuff phone with the box, so I really didn't mind it as much. Uh, I'm take a look. I've been working on the truck, so that's why I've been making videos. But uh, videos gonna be coming pretty soon. I got some film. I gotta do some editing on them, and then uh, we should get back to our normal videos. I plan on going back to at least the daily upload, at least one video a day. So I might take some time, but I plan on doing that. I did grab a couple other phones off of eBay. I didn't get to do an unboxing video. I recorded it and everything. And um, I actually deleted them. So I'll go and grab those as well. So we can take a look at them also. So that's the Motorola Q9C in lime green. So let's go and take a look. I said I'll be an unboxing and everything of this as well. Looks like they cut the uh, IMEI number off the box, which a lot of the phones I get actually do that. I don't know why exactly. Oops. The uh, charger ended up falling. So uh, there's that. The phone was taped in here. It's right here. So it looks like it comes with the case as well. So the charger fell out, which is actually an OEM Motorola charger, which is uh, pretty handy to have. Let's go take a look, see if the battery's good. It looks like the battery's bulged up a little bit. Nothing too bad. Let's take a look, see if there's an SD card in there. Doesn't look like there is. Looks to be in decent shape. Y'all know I like my Alltel branded phones, so. Uh, it doesn't look, oh, there is power in it. Let's go into a boot up. Condition looks pretty good. I think I have one of these pretty close to what looks like this in the Verizon model. Uh, look at there's a little damage right here on the corner, but other than that, eh, pretty good shape. Pretty dirty too. So that keys and stuff. So here's the case it comes with. A little gel TPU kind of thing going on. So I'm gonna put it in here. Yeah. Um, this phone, I think, was tested to power on, but it wasn't tested uh, other than that. It was just supposed to turn on. So it doesn't look like there's a passcode on it or anything. So there's a little case on it. Things work just fine. Let me go grab those other phones I have, and we'll take a look at them. Okay, so we can grab these other phones. I tested this uh, LG AX8600. This is gold. Yeah, I see it does work, but the front screen is damaged, but it is gold. It works just fine. I haven't tested the uh, the battery it came with, so I might do that and see if it works. I got this one. It was, let me see what the price on this one was. Here it is. It was $8 and $5 shipping. It came from uh, Ukraine, so it took a while to come and get here, but uh, it's here. Like I said, it works for the most part, and then also I ordered a, let's take a look. This is an iPhone 4 uh, S. It is a Verizon model. I paid $7.99 for it with free shipping. Um, it was terrible to power on, but it has um, an iCloud account on there that as you can see. Um, so it is iCloud locked, but it does have a good screen and a good back. So I'll probably take parts off of it and fix my other. It does have a good battery as well. 
Now this 4S, that needs a screen, a back, and a battery, but the board is good. So, probably no swapping parts on it, getting it fixed, and then uh, we'll have this for parts, basically. And then uh, I picked up this, I had it for a while, I was gonna let my friend use it and trade for something he had, but uh, apparently the Wi-Fi doesn't work on it. So we are going to do a drop test on it. It's got a good screen, everything works apparently, but the Wi-Fi. So uh, we're gonna do a drop test on this pretty soon. Just have to get out and film it. And then uh, we got another phone trade going on as well. So I got some more phone reviews to do. So uh, stay tuned for the next one, guys.